This is the 750 watt GM750, manufactured by Segatep with a current MSRP of $100 US. It is a fully modular ATX3 power supply with a single fan mode. The power supply comes in reasonable packaging and measures 140 by 86 by 150 millimeters. Considering cable flexibility, it has an effective depth of 171 millimeters. The Segotep GM750 is accompanied by the accessories as shown and supported by a five-year warranty. This warranty period is below average for a power supply of this class. The fully modular cables are of acceptable quality. They have plastic insulation and are moderately flexible. They should cause no problems while building and cable managing your computer. The provided cable set includes a single 12 volt high power cable, allowing it to power all types of high wattage GPUs. LTT Labs conducted all of the following testing at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The full test suite, including tests at extended temperature ranges, is available on the lab's website linked in the description. But before we get to the results, Here's a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Circuit Specialists for sponsoring this video. They provide tools and supplies to the STEM community at competitive prices. Explore their wide range of resistors, soldering stations, oscilloscopes, and more. Use code LMG at the link below for 10% off your purchase. The Segotep GM750 carries an 80 plus gold rating, and we have measured 91% efficiency at 50% of its maximum rated load. That is slightly lower than power supplies in a similar class. Throughout the full rated output power range of 750 watts, there was a 0.331 voltage drop on the 12 volt rail inside of ATX specifications, and similar to most other power supplies we've tested. Some of the other output rails did not meet ATX specifications. This could pose issues for builds that have power draws approaching the limit of the power supply. The peak-to-peak -peak signal ripple of the fully loaded power supply's 12 volt rail was slightly high at 41 millivolts while the 5 volt and 3.3 volt rails had signal ripple of 33 millivolts and 36 millivolts respectively. Modern power supplies typically have no issue complying with ATX ripple specs, but this unit failed at a few test points. We test a power supply's resilience to momentary power dropouts and ripples using our brownout test that interrupts the input power for a few milliseconds. This allows us to measure how long of a power dropout the sample can sustain without interrupting the output power. The Sigatep GM750 was measured to withstand an 8 millisecond and 8 millisecond dropout at full rated load for 115 volt and 230 volt inputs respectively. This is quite low and is not recommended for regions with lower power quality. The excursion test momentarily applies up to 200% of the rated load to test a power supply's ability to support components that may temporarily require more than their rated current. The Segotep GM750 withstood a subset of the excursions but failed with others. It's compatible with most systems but may struggle with high-end hardware connected. The Segotep GM750 is equipped with the protections as listed, providing the full suite of protections for you and your equipment. We measure the overpower protection to engage at a maximum of 114% of rated load, while the 12 volt rail alone is capable of 73 amps, 118% of its rating. This is equivalent to similarly rated power supplies ensuring protection of the components, but may result in the occasional shutdown during extremely high loads. We don't recommend the Segotep GM750 because of its poor line regulation and sensitivity to brownouts. For full specifications and test results, follow the link to the product page on the LTT Labs website.